This video is sponsored by Brilliant. So there are several different ways to represent the structure of molecules, with the most common probably being loose structures. And loose structures are useful for showing how the atoms in a molecule are connected by covalent bonds, but they don't always give a clear description of how the atoms are arranged in space. For example, the loose structure for methane, which is probably going to be over here in a second, um, or CH4, shows the four covalent bonds connected to the central carbon atom to the hydrogen atoms. However, this Lewis structure seems to indicate that the five atoms are all located on the same plane and that the angles between the atoms are all 90 degrees or 108 degrees, but as we know, this is not true. The actual shape of a molecule can be more accurately represented by knowing that the negatively charged electrons that form covalent bonds and lone pairs repel each other. Therefore, the most stable arrangement of the electron groups is the molecular shape that keeps the groups as far away from each other as possible. And the best way to keep the negative charges for the four covalent bonds in a methane molecule as far apart from each other as possible is to place them in a three-dimensional molecular shape called a tetrahedral with has and that has angles of 109.5 degrees between the bonds such as this one that i made earlier so we can see here if you can see it that we have little lines here or little sticks that represent the covalent bonds we have got the carbon Adam in the middle, which is um, accurately painted black. It's called carbon. And then we've got the white little balls on the outside, which are hydrogen atoms. So these angles between the bonds are called bond angles. Each of these little bondy bonds, bond angles, are 109.5 degrees. So there are three different ways to represent the methane molecule or any other molecule as a 3D shape and that includes a space filling model which provides the most accurate representation of the electron charge clouds for the atoms. Um, and then we've got the ball and stick model as I have here which emphasizes, woof, emphasizes the molecule's correct molecular shape and it shows the covalent bonds quite clearly or more clearly than um, other things such as geometric drawings, which we're going to get onto next. And the drawings show a three-dimensional tetrahedral structure, such as this one, um, or any other shape with a two-dimensional drawing. Um, so for methane, we've got two hydrogen atoms which are connected to the central carbon atom with solid lines. And think of these as being in the same plane as a carbon atom. And then we've got a third um, hydrogen atom connected to the central carbon with a solid wedge and that comes out um, of the plane towards you. And then we have got a fourth hydrogen atom which is connected to the carbon atom by a dashed wedge and that is situated behind the carbon um, atom. To really learn something you need to put it into practice, which is exactly what Brilliant allows you to do. It's an amazing resource for learning science. You get to immediately apply the concepts to real world situations, see how they relate to other concepts and build up a framework to deeply understand science. What's more, once you've mastered the foundational courses in physics, astronomy or classical mechanics, you are well positioned to cover advanced topics such as special relativity. Complement the many, many YouTube videos I'm sure you've watched with Brilliant's interactive problem solving based courses. Put what you learn into practice. Go check out Brilliant and sign up for free by following the link in the description below. The first 200 people to sign up using the link will also get an awesome 20% off their annual premium subscription.